In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the MPV, or net present value, of a project using Excel. So I've got 20 different projects here with a series of cash flows. Cash outflows are in parentheses, while the cash inflows aren't. For each project, there's an initial cash outflow occurring today, which is period zero, and then that's followed by a series of cash outflows or inflows that occur at the end of each of the next five years. For each of the 20 projects, there's a cash outflow occurring today, which is period zero, and then there's a series of cash outflows and inflows that occur at the end of the year for each of the next five years. Now to calculate the net present value of these projects, we're gonna use Excel's NPV function. So just type equals NPV and then highlight the discount rate. Now I'm gonna anchor the discount rate so I can drag down this formula later to calculate the NPV for all 20 projects. You can also type in the discount rate directly. In this case, you could just type in 0.09 and Excel would know that you're telling it there's a discount rate of 9%. Next, we're gonna highlight the cash flows from year one through five. Now you might be tempted to highlight all the project's cash flows, but don't do it. You should only highlight the cash flows that occur after period zero. So why isn't the cash outflow that occurs today included in these values? It's because the MPV function assumes that cash flows occur at the end of each period. The initial cash outflow occurs today, thus it doesn't occur at the end of the period and thus shouldn't be part of the MPV function. But don't worry, we will account for the cash flow in period zero separately. After you close the parentheses, add the cash flow from period zero and hit enter. You can see that our MPV for project one is $28,345. And if you look at our formula, you see that we did account for the cash outflow that occurred in period zero. We just have to account for it separately and not include it as part of the values that we're using in the MPV function. Now to see the MPV for the other 19 projects, I'm just gonna double click the fill handle. Now the MPV function assumes the cash flows occurred at the end of each period and that the cash flows were periodic. But what if the cash flows weren't equally spaced out? For example, what if we had a project with non-periodic cash flows like this? We have one cash flow occurring on May 6th, one on October 19th, one on February 2nd, and one on September 30th. We shouldn't use the MPV function here because the cash flows don't occur at regular intervals. Instead, we should use the XNPV function. Just type equals XNPV, then select the discount rate, then select the range of cash flows, and then select the range of dates. Entering the dates is important here. We didn't have to do that with the MPV function because it assumed regular intervals, but we have to do it here. Then click enter, and we see that we have an MPV of $713. Note that I included the first cash flow in the series of cash flows with the XMPV function. This is different from the NPV function where we had to deal with the upfront cash flow separately. And that's it. If you'd like to download the spreadsheet I used in this video, you can sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below. Or to access the spreadsheet immediately, you can become a supporter on Patreon.